Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with some more NCAA 06. Dynasty mode with Georgia Southern. You can see, man, usual suspects are unusual. No, he was the highest one the last year, and he moves on up the list. You can see that they are singing his praises. Can Sampson win his second straight Heisman? That would be a good look. It is quarterbacks on top with Suggs from South Carolina. Then you got a receiver from Penn State and Williams, who's actually having himself a very good season. Over 1,100 yards receiving, 17 touchdowns on 73 receptions. And then the running back from the U, Brian Thompson, having himself a crazy year and then jonathan cade the young man not so young he's a fifth year senior but he's only five foot six the midget out there doing his thing is that pretty correct or is it the small people the short people i don't know i apologize for offending anybody nebraska they're ranked number one then miami then you got florida usc south carolina tennessee and then florida state who lost to florida they're now 10 and one ouch michigan they're Nine and two, and they're sitting at number eight in the nation. Oklahoma's number nine. Iowa's number 10. Then Maryland at 11. Ohio State after them. Indiana, Penn State. It is this Big Ten action in the middle of the top 25 polls. Virginia, they, they lost to Miami. They dropped from 11 to 16. Ole Miss is moving on up. Boston College moving up. Georgia Tech is moving up. Tech, hey, and them. They, uh, they lost to Texas, so they dropped back just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. And we find ourselves ranked in the top 25. That's a good look for us because we're taking on Georgia Tech, the Battle of Georgia for the first time. And it's hard to have the Battle of Georgia without the University of Georgia. But today it's Georgia Southern, number 24, taking on Georgia Tech, number 19. This is the Blake Naismith Bowl because if you remember in our story to start things off, Naismith started his career at Georgia Tech, had some family responsibilities to take care of, had to sit a year out, and he popped back up at Georgia Southern. And man, oh man, was he a beast. First down and 10, K gonna look down, Phil gonna throw that thing and not throw that thing and kind of throw that thing and that thing goes to the grass. Second down and 10, Walker trying to weave through traffic is brought down by number four, so four on four crime. Third down and eight now, we get, yo, left tackle and right tackle, they are going backwards because the beginning of the year, that's what it looked like, them both on the ground. But later on in the season, the protections got very, very good. But on that play, the protection was not so well. So, 442 yard line now. Flynn has it. He is their backup quarterback and throw it to Williams, rocking 51. I love it. I love it. They throw it to him. He makes the catch first down. Read to the left side, brought down. And it looks like our defense is up to the task. Taking one of the better running backs in the ACC. He's up to over 1,300 yards rushing, and he picks up the first down right there. So first down and 10, Flynn has it. Flynn under pressure. Dominique Ely laying the smacketh down. Second down and 18 now. They throw it quickly and that pass falls incomplete. So now it's third down and 18. Flynn looking downfield to Anderson. Makes the catch brought down by Jackson inside the 10-yard line. A perfect pass on third down. And Flynn's trying to do what their starting quarterback couldn't do. Or can't do. And that's beat us because he's not playing, but Flynn is. Anyways, Reed to the left side, and Reed's going to work his way upfield for a nice game. Second down and goal. They run the ball with the impact player, and that was an impact forceful run in Georgia. Tech, the Yellow Jackets are up seven. Nada. We're going to fire that thing to Davenport. He makes the catch right there, and that's his first catch of the ball game. Gain of 14. Going to the ball with Walker. Good block. And we bounce to the outside, and we got ourselves another first down. Let the band play the story or tell the story with their music. We run the ball. We go backwards three. So second down and 13. Cade looking. Davenport makes the catch. Davenport has us went up to the 20-yard line. So we're looking good. We're feeling good. We're doing our darn thing. That pass not going to be a good one. It's just not. Second down and 10 for the 20-yard line. Cade looking. Cade's now going to keep it. And I don't know what that was, but hey, it's a gain of four nonetheless. Third down and six. Under some pressure. Going to roll right. We got Davenport in the end zone. You cannot leave him open, but you left him open. And usually when you leave him open, it's going to be a touchdown of some sorts or a big play. And it was a big play because it was a touchdown. You got it? We good. Flynn going to go down. Mr. Peterson is a little bit shaken up, but he got the sack, so that should make the injury not so painful. They run the ball with Reed, and that's going to take us to the second quarter of play. We are all tied up at seven. So third down and 11. They're going to throw this one deep, and that pass falls incomplete, and we're going to take it right back over from the 31-yard line. K going to roll right, set his feet, lets it fly. Gibson's like, give me those. First 
Bam! He is hungry. Mama, I need seconds. From the 46-yard line. Like we run the ball and Moore's like, I need some better blocking. Second down and nine. We're going to roll left. We're going to go to Ian Clark. Dive and catch. Absolutely sensational. Sensational. Freshman receiver. Absolutely. I can't wait to see his career play out because he's going to be an absolute monster. But then we fumble. But then we pick it up. And then we fall forward. And that's going to result in a gain of four. Second down and six. K. Looking. Throwing it. Caught by John Smith and went inside the five from the three-yard line. K is going to keep it in. K is going to get into that end zone. Touch down. Can we beat Georgia Tech? Can we pull the upset of Georgia? Yes, the upset of Georgia. Can we do that? Quinn gets it upfield to about the 30-yard line, make it the 32. Play fake now. Flynn has it. Throws it deep. And this pass is going to be caught by Thornton in between two defenders. First down. And that pass was absolutely phenomenal. Just split the defense and get this one down to the goal line. So first down and goal. They're going to run the ball. Reed touching a second touchdown run for him. Davenport up to the 10, up to the 20. Davenport to the 30. Davenport up out of bounds at around the 36-yard line. First down and 10. Cade has the football. He's rolling right, still rolling, looking for Zeke. Davenport coming all the way from the left side to the right side. Ran about 100 yards for a big-time catch. We're going to win that ball with more. More breaking ankles and breaking hearts as we work our way down to the 15-yard line. They're going to send a five-man rush. It's picked up beautifully. Going to give us enough time to find Gibson. I see you. Where's Gibson? No, where's Waldo? He's in the middle of the end zone. Touchdown. We're up by seven again. So 21-14. Quinn with a nice spin move. Gets up to the 26-yard line with a buck 56 on the clock. Flynn looking downfield. That pass, mm -mm -mm, not good at all, as they say. Second down and 10. Flynn throws it. That pass was good to Reed, and that's going to result in a nice game. Some third down and three. They run the ball with Reed. Breaks one tackle. He's going to get away one more time to the 50 in the Georgia Southern Territory. And there's now the eagle in the frame, high stepping like he prime time. Touchdown on an incredible, just a physical. A physical run, and then he turned on the Jets. I have, I mean, like, that's just incredible. Remind me of Nick Chubb from Georgia from back in the day when he was there. He's going to make a full recovery and be just fine. Know what I'm saying? Smith going to run that ball after the catch and picks up a nice game. We find a way up to the 46-yard line. Going to run the ball right there with Walker. Walker to the 40. Walker going to get forced out of bounds. And that's going to be first down and 10 from the 34. We get that thing to Walker again. He gets slung down, and that's going to be second down and 8. K rolling right. He can keep it if he wants to, and he wants to to the 20. He's going to try to get out of that tackle. Almost got about that tackle as he worked way up to the 12-yard line. Walker trying to turn the corner, and Walker, it seems like Walker gets gassed. Like, his, his explosiveness is there for like two or three plays as Moore gets in the foot end zone. But on that fourth play, Walker needs like a, a freaking breathalyzer. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but he needs something. Some oxygen. That's what it is. He needs like an oxygen mask because he can be getting gas. His explosive just disappears. First down and 10. Reed breaks a tackle. Reed meet Dawkins. You are not going to get away from Big Dawkins. Second down and 8. They run the ball with Reed again. Gets away from a couple of guys and then brought down by Chambers. First down and 10. Reed up the gut. Ely is like, I'm going to bring you down easily, at least on that play. Second down and 5. Flynn has it. Steps up, throws it, caught by Thornton, but not in bounds. So third down and five now from the 40. We're going to send the blitz. We're not going to get there. We are going to get there. Long with the long arm of the law gets to Flynn. How does that dirt taste indeed? Cade looking downfield. Cade throwing it to Clark. Makes the catch. Makes one guy miss. Gets chopped down as we cross midfield. Georgia Tech was like, why didn't we recruit him? Because y'all ain't got no receivers outside of Calvin and, and Demarius Thomas. And I could be wrong, but that's what comes to mind. Anyways, looking downfield after we made a big-time play there. Can we add to that big-time play? Looking downfield, I try to throw it to Brown, but I crossed the line of scrimmage clearly. Second down, 10 yards ago. Protection is top-notch on this play. Looking downfield, going to throw it to Davenport. The coverage was top-notch as well. A1 status, S tier, if you will. Third down and 10. We're looking back at the end, and the ref, get out the way, ref. 
That would have been a touchdown pass, and we need our stats, and we're going to climb that Heisman watch list. Anyways, that kick is up. That kick is good. More importantly, we need to win this game versus Georgia Tech. That pass caught by Johnson, and that's going to be a first down, and now it's going to be first down and 10 from about the 31-yard line. They throw that thing. That pass caught by Williams. So Williams is wearing 51, but he is making all kinds of plays out there like he's not a linebacker. I don't know who he is, but he's absolutely phenomenal catching the football, all right? So first down and 10. They get the ball to Reed. Long as they're to chase him down, how do you like them apples? Second down and 10. Reed up the gut, and Reed going to get brought down by Chambers, and that's going to be third down and nine. Flynn going to fire that thing in the double coverage, and it doesn't matter. Thornton is like, I'm the next great receiver from this program. And yes, 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 you are. It looks that way. Because what is going on? It's crazy. Double coverage doesn't matter. Throw the ball number 12. Good things happen. Looking downfield for Zeke Davenport off of his hands, and that pass will fall incomplete. Second down and 10. Cade fires it to Davenport. Davenport breaks the tackle, and Davenport works his way upfield for a nice game. From the 38-yard line now, Walker trying to get loose, and Walker will get loose, and that's going to be a first down to end the third quarter of play. So we're doing everything that we want to, but we're only up by three, and now we go backwards around three yards. So second down and 12 now from the 46. Cade throwing it. That pass off of the hands of Davenport. So what's going to happen now on third and 12? I'm going to tell you, we're going to trust our best receiver. Going right back to Zeke. You let them open, and this time he makes the catch easily. Mr. Davenport is that guy. Cade going to roll left. Still rolling. Throws it. Intercepted by Barber. Barber to the 15. Barber gets dropped at that 17 yard line. His first interception of the season. Couldn't have come at a bigger moment. So Flynn using his feet. And his feet going to work his way upfield for a nice gain of around 20. And a first down from the 35 yard line. Now Anderson. He breaks the tackle, then falls forward in the arms of Moss, but has a first down in his back pocket. Going right back to Mr. Anderson, and that's going to result in a gain of around nine. Our formation, get the ball to Reed, bounce off of Ely. Going to try to work his way upfield, does work his way upfield before he's brought down by Jackson. His fourth tackle of the ball game, that's a first down. That pass caught by Thornton, he gets rocked. So second down and four. Reed up the gut. Reed falls forward, and Reed is going to... Have a first down, he does have a first down. For the 26 now, we get another sack. Ty Brown Smith, at one point he was in the league, he was in the country league for sacks. Not league, but the country. He might still be up there though with a performance like that. So Flynn looking down, fit out the back to back sacks. Looking down, make it three in a row. Make it three in a row. My man Peterson, is that his third sack of the ball game? I think it is, I think it was. And then they knock home a 56 yarder to tie it up. Who is that guy, and why can he kick the ball so good? It must be the Georgia Peaches. That pass caught by Brown. Brown makes the catch for a gain of eight. For the 28 now, second down and two. We're going to keep it. We're going to break a tackle. Going to fall forward and pick up a first down by the skin of our teeth. Yes, the, just the teeth. K, looking. Throwing it to Brown. It's broken up. Second down and ten. K, rolls right. Stops. Pops. Davenport brings it in. Huge gain on the play, and we're inside Georgia Tech territory. Wide receiver screen. We break a tackle. We pick up a good block. We break in some ankles, and we work our way past the first damn marker. Nine catches, 234 for Zeke Davenport. We're going to get that thing to more on senior day, and yeah, there you go. We're going to kick this field goal. The kick is up, and the kick is good, and that's going to do it. What a way to finish out the regular season career. For a bunch of our players at home on senior day, beating Georgia Tech. First time we have faced them in program history because the history of this program did not start until I put this game into my PS2 and we start up a dynasty. You feel me? So that is going to do it for the regular season. We do not have a conference uh, ball game because we're not part of no conference, okay? We straight independent this thing, and I think it works out because it allows us to put whoever we want on the schedule. Are we ready for a team like Georgia? Trent Blair has the inside track to be our starting quarterback next year. He's going to be a junior that season. He he is somewhat of an athlete, but definitely more of your balance pocket passer type, if you will. But do we put Georgia on the schedule? We'll definitely do with Georgia Tech again. This time it will be 
in Atlanta. I believe that's where Georgia Tech plays in Atlanta. So yeah, that's that. Anyways, man, we should be headed to a decent ball game, and I'll see y'all there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace, love. Hi, sauce.